The public safety deal that emerged from weeks of negotiations between House Democrats and Senate Republicans does contain some police reforms. That includes things like restrictions on no-knock search warrants and new jail inmate safety measures. But a lot of the ideas the Democrats wanted fell by the wayside. The law needs to be serious about accountability or it is not serious about public safety. Democratic members of the legislature's Posse Caucus, that's the people of color and indigenous lawmakers, say they're going to try to add an amendment to the public safety bill that would restrict pretext stops, that's pulling people over for equipment violations to prevent situations like what happened to Dante Wright. We are not here because we are putting the interest of an election certificate over the lives of Minnesotans. We are here because we've heard from the community, because we've done our job this entire session, and we continue to do our job. And think about this, there's millions of traffic stops. Since 2018, there's millions of traffic stops, and we had two tragic deaths as a result of those traffic stops, two. But at the same time, over 900 guns were confiscated in that same period of time. Another proposed reform that did not make it into this deal would have allowed families to get access to body camera footage within 48 hours. Now, that didn't make it because Senate Republicans were against it, but Governor Walls today signed an executive order instructing the state patrol and other state law enforcement agencies to work toward releasing body camera footage as soon as possible. This is not a choice between being pro-police, anti-police, pro-safety, anti-safety. These are about making sure that people are respected and protected in their own communities. From the Capitol, I'm John Croman.